A night with legends in the house. Hall of Fame induction night at Minute Maid Park. The Astros trying to cap off this evening with a big finish from Chris Davinsky on Hall of Fame weekend. Devo taking over here in the ninth, facing three left hand hitters to start the inning. It's good for him. He's got that COD in his back pocket. Record on the season is 2 0. That ERA drifting down now at 4.31. He has been very good of late. Seen some good sliders. The velocity has been good in 94, 95 mile an hour range, but it's really been that change up making a resurgence here in the last couple of outings. The one Mariner who has faced Chris Davinsky more than any other by far is the leadoff hitter in this inning, Kyle Seeger. 14 at bats against Devo. He's three for 14. Swings of the change up and misses 0 and 1. Seeger has grounded out twice and flied out to left field. Nobody else has more than five at bats on this Mariners roster. Ground ball. Yuli on two hops will flip it to Devo. That's one in the ninth. Aaron Sanchez in his first start as an Astro, six innings. Hit a batter, walked a couple. Well, Harris had the seventh, he walked one. Joe Biagini had the eighth, he walked a batter. Devo facing the number three hitter, Omar Nabayez. He was hit by a pitch, and he's also fly down and grounded out. A good heater, top of the zone, 95. Devo feeling it. Pitched back to back days a couple days ago, had the day off yesterday. He got him. Foul tip cut by Maldonado. Narvaez down on strikes, two away in the ninth. The COD, who's pumping fastballs up in the zone against Narvaez, got it chasing up top and then snapped the change up down to get the swing and miss. Thirty seven thousand plus all standing. Daniel Vogel back to batter. Strike one. Jumped out of his hand. 97. Not sure we've seen Devo throwing that hard all year. A 
Doesn't change the changeup. And chases three and two. He overcooked the fastball, 97 up out of the zone. Maybe overcooked that changeup right there. Still has options, and that changeup looked good in this inning. Fly ball, center field. Josh Reddick pulls off Jake Marisnik. The Astros have done it on a night with the greatest legends in Houston Astros baseball inducted into the Hall of Fame. They create history of their own. The 2019 magic continues. A four pitcher combined no hitter. The 12th no hitter in Astros history. The second at Minute Maid Park. Mike Fires when he joined the team in 2015 and tonight. There was another new addition Aaron Sanchez with six of those no hit innings. Can't make this stuff up. A night where they recognize how this organization was built. 16 Hall of Fame inductees and a couple of new guys on the ball club contributing to a combined no hitter for the Houston Astros. Joe Biagini gets a clean inning. Aaron Sanchez. Six no hit innings. And the Astros accomplish it on a magical weekend with a magical team. Greg Maddox, late in his career, sent to the Dodgers. Pulled after six innings of no hit baseball due to a rain delay after being acquired by the Dodgers. That's the last time somebody in his debut did not allow a hit after a midseason trade to throw six plus innings. Aaron Sanchez, who has struggled the whole year, hadn't won a game since April and is part of a no hit night tonight. How about it adding to the legend of Brent Strom? <laughs> well, Julia Morales is gathering all four of the components for that no hitter. She's got three of them out there. The last time the Astros, with a combined no hitter, came against the New York Yankees in the Bronx. It was Roy Oswald starting things off. Off to Pete Monroe, Kirk Sarlos, Brad Lidge, Octavio Dotel, and Billy Wagner completing the no hitter. Tonight, it's Aaron Sanchez, newly acquired, Will Harris, Joe Biagini, newly acquired, and the strut save for Chris Davinsky. He didn't even have a chance to strut because he was mobbed by his teammates. What a night, Lauren. Yeah, it was incredible. I was there for that last combined no hitter for the Houston Astros in Yankee Stadium. It was a magical night. We had no idea that it was even going down, but I guarantee you these guys knew exactly what was going on. Aaron Sanchez going six. Then it was to Will Harris. These guys are highly competitive, competitive against left-handed hitters, and every one of them was on point. And how about this Astros defense? We talked about the defensive runs they saved. They helped him out with the double play, and then it was Biagini, another new guy. I think they'll go out and get him some puppies now after that clean no hit inning. We saw some of his stuff. We also saw a lot of composure. It's not easy to know this game is going on the way it is and come out of that bullpen and pitch as well as they did. And then all of a sudden, that luggage is going to be a little bit more full for Devo because he did a good job getting that ground ball. The changeup was nice. We saw him get juiced a little bit. Fastball in 97, a changeup at 86, 87, and that was it. History. Jeff Luno. Everybody talked about the Zach Renke trade, but how about the two Blue Jays he acquired, combining <laughs> for seven of the nine no hit innings? Julia Morales, after all the pictures have been taken, is ready yes. down on the field. Go ahead, Julia. They needed to take a few pictures for sure. What a historic moment for you guys. Not just you, Aaron, but the, the guys behind you as well. How do you describe what you and your teammates did tonight? I mean, what a fun night. I, for me, you know, they're just coming here and try to have a good first impression. The offense gave me an early lead to kind of let me go out there and just go pitch. And these guys came in behind me. And I mean, this is awesome. What a, what a, what a better. I mean, there's not, you can't you can't write it up any better than this. You had talked about how excited you were to join this club. Were you channeling that energy as you took the mound tonight? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I was just trying to throw strikes and get ahead of hitters. And for me, you know, you come into a team who's in first place, who's leading the American League and wins, and you just try to want to contribute the best way possible. So for me to go out there and 
like I said, offense gave me a good early cushion to where I can just go out there and kind of do my thing. You know, Maldi behind the dish was was in sync with me all night, and it's just been an unbelievable last few days for, for, for me. It's been full. It's been really cool. Six no-hit innings. What was working with you and Maldi tonight? Uh, everything, really. We established kind of everything everything from, from the get-go. Uh, curveball, can't, you know, they kind of had to respect everything from, from pitch one, you know, everything, really. What was your first, I know you were trying to make a good first impression on these Houston Astros, but what was your first impression of your new home here at Minute Maid Park tonight? Well, you know, I've always came in from the other side, and you, like I said when, in, in my press conference, you know, you, you want to be on this team. They, they're good one through nine. Now they're good one through 25. Uh, just to be able to be around the guys that I'm around, um, I can't wait. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. TK, I'm going to send it up to you real quick. All right, Julia, let's recap what happened tonight. Daniel Vogelback, the last batter. Josh Reddick making the catch. The celebration was on. Three pitchers out of the bullpen. Four pitcher combined no hitter. The third no hitter of the season in Major League Baseball. The former Astro Mike Byers, who has the only other no hitter here at Minute Maid Park, got his second this year. It's time with the Oakland A's. The incredible night with the Angels and Tyler Skaggs, everybody wearing the Tyler Skaggs jersey, combining on that no-hitter. And now tonight, those four pitchers combining for history. We will have more from Minute Maid Park after this incredible night.